In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary, of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore human rage to nature, to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of our loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make you new to the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. This we ask of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his friends went by sea from Paphos to Perga in Pamphylia, where John left them to go back to Jerusalem. The others carried on from Perga till they reached Antioch in Pisidia. Here they went to synagogue on the Sabbath and took their seats. After the lessons from the law on the prophets had been read, the presidents of the synagogue sent them a message. Brothers, if you would like to address some words of encouragement to the congregation, please do so. Paul stood up, held up a hand for silence, and began to speak. Men of Israel and fearers of God, listen. The God of a nation, Israel, chose our ancestors and made our people great when they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then by divine power, he led them out and for about 40 years back, 40, 40 years, took care of them in, wilder, in the wilderness. When he had destroyed seven nations in Canaan, he put them in possession of their land for about 450 years. After this, he gave them judges down from the prophet Samuel. Then they demanded a king and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin. After 40 years, he deposed him and made David their king, of whom he approved in, this, in these words. I have selected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus a savior, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine to be, me to be, that one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal. The word of the Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all the ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name, his might shall be exalted. 
he will say to me you are my father my god the rock who saves me Christ are the faithful witness the first born from the dead you have loved us and have washed away our sins with your blood alleluia 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 the lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, o Lord. Chapter thirteen, verses sixteen to twenty. After Jesus had washed the feet of his disciples, he said to them, "I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master, no messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now that you know this, happiness will be yours." if you behave accordingly i am not speaking about all of you i know the ones i have chosen but what scripture says must be fulfilled someone who shares my table rebels against me i tell you this now before it happens so that when it does happen you may believe that i am he i tell you most solemnly Whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me The gospel of the Lord Praise to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ Brave sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father and the Lord accept our sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise and glory of God's his name, name. <coughs> for our good and, and good of all his holy church May our prayers rise up to you O Lord together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love and humility grant this through Christ our Lord Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed and rose from the dead, by the oblation of the of His body. He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with the paschal joy 
every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly power with the angelly hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, <clears throat> Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with friends, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, St. Francis, St. Clare, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command and, co and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each of the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes service in another world. Behold the one who is among us as one who serves. Happy are you who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of receiving you, but only to the world, and I shall be clean. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the ages. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of the Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.